Hello, I'm Carolyn. Welcome to my studio in Kansas City. And no, the alien outside is not one of my workers. This is my first video on the creativity of hand-painted tile. I started Pain Creations in 1984, and for the past 28 years I have developed my own style and techniques. Come on into my showroom, and I'll show you where I do a lot of my larger work in this large room. The first project I'm going to talk to you about is the clock tower on the Country Club Plaza. I did three five-foot diameter clocks for the tower. We call Country Club Plaza America's original shopping center. It was formed in 1922. The drawing comes first, of course, and then it is uh, transferred with a wax line onto the uh, tile. I use a method called Curtiseca. Wherever the wax line is, the glaze will not adhere to, so it has sort of an etched look. The reason I did these clocks is the architect was going to have the uh, images on a plexiglass lighted from behind and then they found out that it was going to fade in three years so they asked me if I could do them in tile. That's what I love about tile. It's one of the oldest art forms known to mankind and one of the most permanent ones. The elements will not hurt it over time. The colors will not fade. Now I'm going to take you up into my studio. You'll see Amish quilt patterns as we go up and we can look down on the project I'm doing now for a children's center. This is a mural six by eight foot to go out in the playground area. And of course we've got monkeys that hear no evil and see no evil. My largest project was this facade of a church at Ashland University, Ashland, Ohio. The drawing was first okayed and then the uh, drawing was placed on tracing paper, transferred onto the porcelain tile I use with wax line, and then the, be drawing, the uh, work begins. The glazing, I might fire a piece numerous times. The body of the tile is what's so important when you're working with tile uh, for a freeze-thaw situation. Man, it made a difference when that went up. I loved how the design went through the whole area, even up through the doorways. Now I'm going to take you back into the studio and show you a little bit about the process. If I'm trying to mass produce a process, I will come up with an image or drawing and put, make a film positive uh, with my computer and then it's, made, it's then made into a silk screen and I screen the image onto the tile. Wherever the wax is, the glaze will not adhere. I might float a uh, white glaze on several times and then come in with my colors or I might directly bottle colored glazes right onto the tile. Then the tiles go to the kill and they're fired anywhere from 1300 degrees up to a 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. Here you have your tile. This was done for an extreme makeover home here in Kansas City. I do a number of donor walls and this was a donor wall done for the School of Social Welfare at the University of Kansas, which of course where I went to school, yay. Uh, I did a small uh, one first and then after a three-year capital campaign we added the sign pa side panels with the donors names and then we had the grand opening. When I work with a client I like to tell a story. This next project was for a patio area. It's called Courtship Flight. When eagles mate they lock claws and tumble down through the sky. So that's why the red ribbon represents the flight of the eagles. The client loved eagles and in the corner we have humanity suffers with the eagle and a tear. That happened right after 9-11. There's eagles also in the corner border that go around and the client's initials were also put in the corner of the mural. The next project I'm going to talk to you about is a home at the Lake of the Ozarks where the blue herring is a predominant bird. So we have four panels across the house with the blue herring flying across in each panel a little different. The bird takes off, the drawing of course is first, and then I'm at work. Start out with the bird in the corner, and then as you see he progresses across until he flies off into outer space. I love working with blue herons, and I also did a blue heron project for a home here in um, that you see in Florida where we did uh, panels that could be removed, and that is an option too. This was uh, done on the Country Club Plaza. This is the um, uh, 
cancer park and I did pattern tiles to and duplicated some of the pattern tiles that were found on the buildings nearby. I love pattern tiles. At one time I had a line of 50 quilt pattern tiles that I sold to uh, museum gift shops around the country and I've used them on numerous different projects. When I work with tile, it's a little different than some of the artists that might transfer a photo or, or artwork by the sublimation process. I build up my color with layers and firing and layers and building it up so that it's almost like an original oil painting, it's, but it's layers of glass. I had a client that loved the large uh, sunflowers, so we came up with a drawing for her backsplash area. Then she came to the studio to see the work, and I loved seeing it when it let up. I also did flowers growing that were growing up on, I guess you could call it on an island here, where they were painted on a white glazed china tile. I've done numerous bars. This was for a client where we used their uh, background in their, their area behind their house. We picked the uh, scene of the lake and the birds that you could see in the area. I've done a number of wine cellars. This was my first one. I had to drink wine numerous times before we decided on the, the uh, nine different scenes that went around the floor and of course this was tapping the keg as you enter on the entrance. I love playing golf. This is my favorite golf tile mural. I've done numerous uh, golf tile murals for backsplashes, uh, barbecues, and uh, kitchens. And of course we can't forget the Chiefs. Tile is a wonderful media for signage. This is on the Country Club Plaza and also I did one for a boutique. The most important thing on tile is the body of the tile. These are some restoration jobs I did. And you need to use a porcelain tile that does not absorb moisture so that the tile will not expand and contract with the freeze-thaw situation. That's what is ruins uh, some outdoor projects and also what it's mounted on. I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, there will be more to come on different subject matters and different areas that I've worked in. Thank you. Thank you.